Hello students, this is 1.67, a bar of mass M is pulled by means of a thread up an inclined plane forming an angle alpha with the horizontal. The coefficient of friction is equal to K. Find the angle beta which the thread must form with the inclined plane for the tension of the thread to be minimum. And what is that tension? So, as diagram shows, first let us consider that the force exerted by this thread is F. Its component along the incline will be F cos beta and perpendicular to incline this will be F sin beta. Now weight of the body is mg. Its component perpendicular and parallel to incline are m. These two components are mg sin alpha and mg cos alpha. These are the components of the now these are the component of force, these are the component of mass of the body. Coefficient of friction is k. Coefficient of friction is k and since the body bar of mass is pulled by means of thread in upward direction up the incline, so friction will be definitely downward. It is mu times of normal reaction given by the fluid. Let this normal reaction is so we have to pull the bar upward without acceleration for getting minimum value of uh, force f we should move uh, in upward direction the block with zero acceleration so for its motion equation will be f cos beta is equal to mg sin alpha plus mu and upward force equal to downward force and in perpendicular direction perpendicular to the direction n and f sin beta should be equal to the value of mg cos alpha, the second condition. From second equation, n is equal to mg sin mg cos alpha minus f sin beta. From second equation, n equal to this, put this value of n in the first equation. n ke value of first equation put karni hogi to ye ban jayega f cos beta equal to mg sin alpha plus mu times mg cos alpha minus f sin beta so agar hum is equation ko arrange kare f ke sare term ek taraf le lete hain to ye ban jayega aap trigonometrically ise solve kare dekhe hain algebraically so it will become f cos beta plus mu sin beta in that direction <coughs> minus f mu sin beta us taraf jayega plus mu of sin beta banega barabar aa gaya mg and sin alpha plus mu cos alpha in sin so f is uh, cos beta plus mu sin beta equal to mg sin alpha plus mu cos alpha. So the value of f is equal to mg sin alpha plus mu cos alpha divided by cos beta plus mu sin beta. This is the value of force. A bar of mass is pulled by means of a thread up an inclined plane forming an angle alpha with the horizontal. The coefficient of friction is equal to k. So oh, there is a change, this coefficient of friction is given as k in the problem and I am using mu as my usual habit, so put this as mu, suppose this is mu, change this. So friction is mu, find the angle beta which the thread must form with the inclined plane for the tension of the thread to be minimum and what is it equal to? So force is this, this force is required since alpha is the angle of inclination, so it is a result value, only beta can be changed. So we have to calculate what will be the value of beta for which f will be made. So if we use the concept that uh, for any surface the friction coefficient ki value 10 lambda is equal to lambda friction angle hai. So mu ko 10 lambda lene par jo denominator aega, ab main kewal is condition ke denominator ko solve kar raha So denominator of the given system denominator is equal to cos beta plus mu sin beta and if we put the value of mu in this, it will become cos beta plus 10 lambda which is sin lambda by cos lambda and sin beta. So uh, this after making LCM, this will become cos lambda is LCM, is LCM of these two. So it will become cos A cos B plus sin A sin B, it means cos A minus B. So this will become cos beta minus alpha upon cos alpha. So, you can see that here is the denominator ki jo value because you can see that in this expression mein force ke all other terms are constant only the denominator is a term by changing which we can change the value So, F depends on the denominator and denominator is this On solving the denominator it will become this Lambda is a constant and fixed value 
so only beta is available here and we see that if we put beta equal to lambda for beta equal to lambda this will become cos 0 degree which is 1 and this is the greatest value of denominator so for making denominator maximum beta will be equal to lambda and for the value of uh, lambda equal to beta since d is maximum so f will be minimum because f is connected to inversely with the denominator clear hai baat ki agar hum beta ki value lambda put kare to ye denominator maximize ho jayega aur agar denominator maximize ho to f minimize ho jayega so minimum value of f will be f minimum will be equal to mg sin alpha plus mu cos alpha divided by cos lambda plus mu sin lambda cos lambda plus mu sin lambda now if we put the value of mu as 10 lambda in numerator and denominator this f minimum will become f minimum equal to mg if we put sin lambda by cos lambda put kare, numerator ban jayega sin alpha it will become sin alpha cos lambda my LCM uh, apply karo aap log karke dekhe se step ko pura divided by cos lambda so agar aap LCM lenge mu ko 10 lambda sin lambda by cos lambda put karke aap isko solve karenge ye aisa banega aap trigonometrically khud solve karke dekhe divided by ye ban jayega cos lambda sin upon cos it will become 1 upon cos lambda aur ye aap clearly dekh sakte hain kyunki beta ko lambda put karte ye 1 by cos lambda ban jayega to denominator 1 by cos lambda banega ye clear hai so cancelling the terms you will get the minimum value of f as mg sin alpha cos lambda plus cos alpha sin lambda it is sin alpha minus lambda so minimum value of f is mg sin alpha minus lambda where lambda is 10 inverse mu and just like i wrote a problem that mu ki jake k tha to answer hoga 10 inverse k so lambda is 10 inverse k and this is the value of beta also so beta should be 10 inverse k and the minimum value of f will be mg sin alpha minus lambda where lambda is 10 inverse mu so if you want to write this as 10 inverse mu it will become f minimum equal to mg sin alpha minus 10 inverse mu so this is the final answer for this problem so trigonometrically which step I have direct solved we have to do it क्वेश्चन सिंपल है कि एक इंक्लाइन के अलावा और इंक्लाइन के परपेंडिकुलर आपको डायनामिक्स इक्वेशंस बनानी पड़ेंगी और उसके बाद में सॉल्व कर दिया था अचीव करेंगे आप एफ बीटा पे डिपेंडेंट है तो पहले बीटा की वो वैल्यू फाइंड आउट करें जिस पर ये मैक्सिमा होगा डिनोमिनेटर तो एफ मिनिमा हो जाएगा सो द आंसर इज बीटा इज इक्वल टू लैम्डा फॉर बीटा इक्वल टू लैम्डा एफ विल बी मिनिमम एंड मिनिमम वैल्यू ऑफ दिस विल बी एमजी साइन अल्फा माइनस टेन इनवर्स थैंक यू